It was announced last year that Universal Pictures was planning on rebooting the 1994 Jean-Claude Van Damme film Time Cop based on the Dark Horse comic. It looks like the project still has life as reports have emerged that Journey to the Mysterious Island scribes Brian and Mark Gunn will provide the screenplay. Alicia, buy or sell the idea of a Time Cop reboot. I am selling this because <laughs> as much as I know they're trying to make a grittier version of it and I'm sure the special effects would be a lot better and they could fix a lot of the logic holes of the first, I just think this is such a 90s film that deserves yeah. to stay where it is. I mean Looper did the modern day time travel movie a lot better. Mm. Um, and if this reboot doesn't have Jean-Claude Van Damme putting a boot into the face of someone wearing <laughs> rollerblades, I'm not interested. I'm, I am, surprisingly enough, I'm going to buy this. Mm -hmm. But the reason I'm going to buy it is because of one word, dread. This yes. feels a lot like to me what Dread did, because Dread was a film that I, when they were going to reboot it, I thought that's a bad idea, this mm. isn't going to work. And then it came out and I loved the new Dread. But I, the one thing you pointed out I think is really observant, that Time Cop movie, I think, worked so well, loosely yeah. using the term worked, <laughs> because of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah. It became a Van Damme film. So it'll be really interesting to see what you I gotta admit, I've never re read the, the comic mm -hmm. version of it, so I don't Me know either. what the, the natural feel of the film is, so I'm not there on that. But I'm gonna say, because of the success of Dread, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna hold out hope for this, so I'm very hesitantly <laughs> gonna buy it, Mary. I'm with you. I actually thought about Dread, too, when I was reading this news about Time Cop, and I, and I do feel like, you're right, this is a 90s movie and, and it is very much a Jean-Claude Van Damme vehicle. It's, it's a, I have nostalgia for it because it came, you know, it's like a coming of age movie. It came out when I was a teenager and you know, I, I look at it with fondness even yeah. though you know, it's, it's really not a great film, <laughs> let's, let's be honest. I am, I am curious to see how they're gonna take this and modernize it and who they're gonna attach and what, you know, what kind yeah. of team. Again, it's, it's the team. Who are they gonna build around this? Christian? Well, you bite your tongue, it is a great movie. <laughs> uh, uh, I am also going to buy it. I'm buying it more or less on what I think they can do with the premise of the film. I also, I'm buying it for hopefully we're gonna see splits in the kitchen and mullets. Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. No, because I agree with you, it's, it's a, when you think of Time Cop, you automatically think of Jean-Claude Van Damme, mm -hmm. you think of a 90s film. But I, you, I think that you have to hold in the fact that this movie, the ultimate premise of this film, it's pretty cool. Like oh, yeah, uh, yeah. everything, like and what they could do. What I'm hesitant about is when they say the guys who brought you Journey too. It's like, yeah, Whoa, yeah. Let's, 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 yeah. Let's not, we haven't really talked about that, have we? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's not bring that up right away. Let's let's just say these two writers have a very interesting take on it. Then I'm yeah. gonna go. Now it's darker because, and I don't want to hold that against them because you because the same thing goes. Look at the Russo brothers who did comedy, mm -hmm. and look what they did with Captain America. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't want to hold them on that. But so I am buying it because I want to see who they cast in it. I want to see who the, who the, who, what it, ultimately what the take is, so I'm on board. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.